where we are back. We know we got to get a fight right there. Uh, I guess the plan is, uh, since we got the two key parts to finish that, and then I guess to find the, uh, the oracles, I guess, where they are. over here. There. Let's get out of here, girl. King Helgi massacred our family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh. And all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Maybe. Alright. <clears throat> At your service. Anything for Freya? Hope it's to your liking. Mm-hmm. What do you need? Souvenir from foreign lands. I am, as always, at your service. Right. So hopefully, I mark the right spot. Here, bird. No, I heard one. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. We go this way. I think. Getting back to your story, Freya. You granted an audience to Hrimzur after he finished building Asgard's wall. What at long last did he whisper to you? Well, he said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. Hang on, brother. That building. <laughs> There's Fjordaloon's treasury. We can enter the vault now. Yeah. Wait. Right. Stuck on the wall. Shove it in there. Jesus. Kratos. Oh shit. Oh, 
Break your gosh darn shield. Take your gosh darn head off, dude. Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Oh, Prince me... Dogger? That the corpse of Siegrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? She has an idea. What's this say? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Love's end. There never was a love as passionate and sordid, sordid as the one that took root between fair Princess Sigrun and foreign King Helgai. Helgai begged for her hand with Sigrun's father, King Hunt refused. And so Hitler raised a terrible army, descended upon their lands, and murdered uh, both the units king, queen, marriage, and laid dead. All except for Sigrun's brave brother, Prince Dagger. Well, and, uh, and it, when the princess discovered her love, lover dead by her brother's hand, rage blinded her, and she did inflict a curse on him most foul. But at her vision returned, but as her vision returned and she saw her entire family dead, she realized her mistake. It was too late. The curse on her brother had taken hold. From the depths of the grief came heartbreaking regret, and it overwhelmed her. In penance for her sins, she cast off her riches, title, and throne to dedicate her mind, body, and soul to the mighty Valkyries, a vow she did make to tuck her heart away, for her love was too dangerous. Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. What she did was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learn and all. Sigrun, Sigrun the Valkyrie Queen, was the most le lethal opponent Atreus and I faced in our prior adventures. Long ago, she was loved by Mimir, and clearly he remembers her warmly, but her utmost loyalty is to Freya, having aided in her, restoring her warrior spirit, and recovering her Valkyrie wings. This only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. That's it up here. Some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. Is that? So, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him. These are very hard, but anywhere is likely the relics outlined. Aye, one of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Let's get out of here. Get back on mission. So, Freya, if we might finish your story, Beanstill revealed to you he wanted revenge on the Aesir for killing his father. Yes, he did. I pointed out I was Aesir now, too, technically. 
He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? Not now. Take your head off. Oh, split your head. Shit. Still? Come on, I was doing mine first. What are you doing? I saw some health around here. On your leg. Chieftain. The chief. Was he the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Regardless, they should draw some comfort. Oh yeah. more health. Anything? Oh, there's some. All right, I'm back, dogs. Okay, here's dog being 
You're still scared. Not of the rings. Alexa, off. Do not. Stupid Alexa. Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Perilous. Good girls. Girls. Let's go. Kratos. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Yeah, true dad. And Savannah has stirred as well and been welcome companions of this leg of our journey. I see their need for affection. I feel desire to protect them and bring them covered. I am pleased that they were able to rid the realm of the raiders who slay their kin. If it is within my power, I will let no wolf suffer the same fate. That's a nice thing to do, Kratos. This is the place. All right, are we sure this time? It's like third time's a charm kind of deal. We need to work our way up this way. Let me look real quick. Maybe they're up top. Oh, yeah. Maybe they're up top. Way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? <laughs> no. I think the water just froze. <laughs> How'd she get there? Another apple. Is that three? Yes, sir. All right, now I'm done. to fight somebody in here more of your friends i didn't tell them I 
Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Me Not neither. They have any idea that's what they're doing. And probably whatever you told them. Birds. Freya. Thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. I was going for this. Uh, shield round. Oh, no shield. Hmm. All right, let's go. What are you drinking? Give me that. I bet you Over do. <laughs> what you got? Open up. Open up. Bats. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Like I said. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Not him, though. Much easier than the other one. I 
away in our own minds yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind are <laughs> real too. Guarding that way outside. You think? Son of a bitch. Just the two. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Fates. What did I say? I've definitely been here. This seems like. Where Trace was. Oh. Freya of the Vanir, Master of Magics, Queen of the Valkyries, Witch of the Woods, Freya of Asgard, Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. Cannot Don't listen to them. They're trying to trick you. Forget about the trees. I really need to hit a dude with a tree. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. Mm-hmm. You right. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? <laughs> Bloody hell, look at that thing! What's your left? It's more of a wedding 
fugitive's core! Son of a bitch. Get to the roof. No, that hurt. Ball. Well, get an 
another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Alright, that was pretty intense. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. How can you tell? something real quick. Dodge rolling dodge tap X while hasten the expression of bird poison and frost status effects. sound again. Normally I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling. How very dare you! I mean, you know it's them. The door. Oh, All right, what? that looks official. What are we fighting now? You? My boy. Don't believe him. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! This is a doing, There's a lot of them. Secret. It's true, all of it. 
but for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor, oh, an ally shit. to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scotty? To Thrower? Or to Tanya? No! You are up to the side of the power of them! You them! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, <laughs> you <laughs> see a fire oh, hit me! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the fiend! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Who the fuck are you? Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take you! Atreus! <laughs> How did that hit me? Tired of it. He killed his own family. Atreus, I am here. Land the door on my face. I think it's over. Did we pass the test? Probably not. Feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Her face looks weird. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. Hmm. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. There's walking on water. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Oh shit. Wait. A Kelpie in search of the Norns lit but Led us to a mystical horse. Mimir called it Kelpi. It upon the water transformed and then dove down and beneath their surface, carrying us to the Norns' inner sanctum. I expect our departure to be no less unpleasant. May the Norns make this journey worthwhile. Yeah. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubt it would make it. Hey, I feel like you doubt it a little. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. 
Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. <laughs> but what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in story craft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> The fates of the realms, their names are Uro, Verande, and Skold. I do not know how I know this. Their meddling inside my mind is already providing, proving difficult to recall, yet an uneasy feeling remains. No matter, I remember learning Hendel is a threat to my son. That is enough. Well, that was educational. <laughs> Can we go back in and kill them? Like he killed the fates before? I had to look Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Interesting. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. 
Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Guest of foresight. So I mean, it'd be kind of hard to kill him. Let's go. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Hold up. I see something. What do you see? Oh, I figured it out. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfill prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. The past world of fate completed. Alright. So we visited the fates. The Norns. Figure out that... People trying to kill the boy. Oh, we already knew that. Then this one right here, you can be like, maybe comment, uh, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Later.